Are you in a bad relationship? Now, assuming that you want to save your relationship, I want to show you how. It would help if you could change your thoughts about your relationship. You may think right now that your spouse needs to change so that you can feel better. You see, he is keeping you from the relationship of your dreams. But never mind him. It's your dream. As long as your happiness is hinged on someone else's actions, you can never be satisfied. Your dream is not contingent on someone else ever. You see, it's your dream. Even if it's a dream about a relationship that involves the both of you, what's holding you back is you want something, a great relationship, and you equally forcefully believe you can't have it. You also believe someone else is getting in your way. By holding yourself apart from what you want, you're making it impossible for you to get. It's out of reach. Your thoughts and your energy are just so powerful. You're devoting more mental power and energy to the fact that you don't have what you want. Your passion and your drive want to move forward, but worry and fear and doubt are holding you back. Your spouse's actions are contradicting your passion, and it's pulling you both apart. You're using him to irritate your passion. You see, that passion is inside you. It's a feeling. Nobody can give it to you. It's already in you. It's there right now. It's pure, and it's real. You have to believe in that passion, if you tag it to external circumstances or to a person, you lose. You have to lose. Your energy and your thoughts will flow towards the things that you don't want. The thing that agitates you. You can't control other people. Your spouse is the one person that you committed your entire life to. And you spend most of your time with this person. You can't win. You have to believe that you can be successful or happy with or without someone else. I know, nothing can give you or get in your way if you can release the limitations you place on what you want. Don't make your dreams contingent on anyone or anything outside you. Don't stand in your own way and don't let anyone else do that either. You can complain about your relationship or you can expect it to go well, expect good things. Either way, the universe will deliver. Worry about the future and look or look forward to it. You get to decide. It's up to you. I know that you believe in positive thinking and all that stuff and you want to say your relationship is wonderful. So say that. Even if it's not, it's just not yet. If you start thinking about it that way, it will be. The only reason you want that kind of a, a connection is that you used to have it. It didn't go anywhere. It's just that you're both too focused on what you don't like about each other. You can spend 30 years trying to manipulate, trying to change him, or... You can just love him. The problem is you think you can change him. You can't. All you can do is change yourself. In changing yourself, he will change. If you struggle in a relationship, I mean, I feel you. I've been there. It's hard. But you are the one making it hard. You see, when you refuse to let people be who they are, you keep trying to mold them into something that they're not, you create misery. The way to a great relationship is to believe in it. Level up your thoughts and your energy towards a great relationship. What this doesn't mean is you keep comparing your spouse to some sort of idealistic fantasy version of him. He will always come up short. He just can't win. And you've pegged your happiness to some made-up version of happiness. It's not real. People will never be what your ideal fantasy version of them looks like. You just have to believe. Believe 
in your relationship. Believe you can be happy. Invest mental energy in believing in love. Your brain loves repetition. Believe this relationship is a good one because it is. I know you don't currently see this because you keep on looking at his deficiencies and the problems, but you have to believe in your partner, see his good qualities, see every act he does as an act of love. Remind yourself that they love you all the time. Look at the positive qualities him in him. Make a list. Read it all the time. The goal is to spend more time appreciating your partner in your relationship. Ultimately, you have to change the way you think and feel about your partner and yourself in your relationship. Remember, you chose this person and they chose you. Many people will instead leave what they see as a bad relationship for someone else, for another person. And that also goes wrong. So what was wrong with all those men? Well, actually nothing. The common denominator is you. You can leave this relationship. It's probably easier, but you're going to have the same problems in the next one. You can't have a good relationship with anyone until you have a good relationship with yourself. Of course, there are some relationships that are not worth saving, like when someone is abusive. That is different. Just know that if you leave one person to find someone else because the grass is greener on this other side, you can find yourself in the same challenging relationship again unless you change your thoughts and your patterns. Dial your thoughts into a positive direction over and over again towards the love you want. Detach from the thoughts that blame others for your unhappiness. It's not about them. It's about you. Happiness is inside you. It's a feeling. It's in there. As soon as you hinge that feeling onto someone else, or something outside you, you are incredibly vulnerable. Believe in feelings of happiness in you and nurture those feelings. Feel good as often as you can. You can't feel good about yourself if you feel bad about others. It's not possible. If you feel bad about your spouse or your situation, you are putting your attention in the wrong direction. You can't be happy with him and upset with him at the same time. Suppose you find yourself despising your spouse. Go ahead. Just know that your happiness is taking a hit. There's no way around that. You are giving your power to him, to a negative situation. If you think your relationship sucks, it will. Your thoughts are creating that. You are the architect of those thoughts and you can change them. Here's how to love your spouse. Remember that you chose this person. Focus on their good qualities. Write about them. Think about them a lot. Appreciate your spouse in your mind and out loud as often as you can. Plan to do fun things together. Change your dialogue. Keep your predominant conversations positive with each other. Talk about things you both enjoy and love. Maybe it's a pet or the success of your children. This brought you together before. It will bring you together once again. Don't spend time with your spouse complaining about anything. Your energy and conversation together right now, if you're not getting along, it likely gravitates towards negative things. The economy, the weather, your mother-in-law. Stay away from these subjects. Come home from work and talk about all the good things that happened to you, even if they are really small. In fact, the smaller, the better. It's less complicated. Tell them about how happy you are. Uh, that someone lets you merge in front of them in traffic. Tell them about how someone smiled at you at work today. Make happy plans for the future together. Plan a vacation. Hang out with positive people and stay away from other couples who you like to complain with. 
If possible, find Netflix shows that are inspiring and positive to watch. Don't consume negative content with your spouse. If possible, don't consume it at all. Changing the energy of negative thoughts and emotions does take effort, but it's worth it. The reason you are unhappy together is you have too much negative momentum. Eventually, you will be able to go back to the things you used to complain about, but you will see them in a more positive light, or you may choose to stay away from them altogether. At that point, it won't even matter. You will have love. That's what you came for. At the end of your day, talk about all the good things that evolved that day. Be grateful. Surround any struggle you have together with compassion and kindness. Always give your spouse the benefit of the doubt. Reveal his perspective. Don't fight with it. If your spouse struggles with anything, surround him with kindness and with love. It will take effort, I know, but you must turn this negative momentum in your relationship around. It's what's making you feel bad. Look at your history. Recognize how you created your life together. Everything you have right now started with a thought. You thought you wanted a relationship. Well, you got one. You thought you wanted a husband. Well, you got one. You thought you wanted to move in together, and you did. Through common goals and positive intentions, you created momentum in a positive direction, and because of this, you created a life. Now, you have to recreate it. Keep moving forward. Negativity only pulls you back. Right now, you're stalled because you have too much negative energy for each other. Your negative thoughts are driving a wedge between the two of you. You're not moving forward, and that's why you're getting upset. You think he is holding you back. He's not. You're holding yourself back. Together, you're holding each other back through your energy. If you keep complaining about problems, you will get more problems. Every problem is just a reason to create new solutions. You need a problem to help you to think about your relationship differently. You see, in the end, that's what will happen. Because if you can't find a way to come together in harmony or in peace, what will happen is eventually you will just break up and you'll have to start all over again somewhere else.